Hjulgoat is a popular destination with tourists and holidaymakers alike. This is due to its impressive natural setting, among which the vestiges of an ancient forest still survive, one that once covered the entire island of Brittany. Once part of royal and ducal lands, the forest is now overseen by the French Forestry Commission, the National Forest Office. It has a footprint of around 10 square kilometers, with a large replanting scheme repairing much of the damage sustained by the forest and storms, which occurred upon the 15th and 16th of October 1987, when 3.1 square kilometers of trees were leveled or damaged. However, within this surviving ancient forest, ancient Neolithic ruins can be found. Ruins synonymous with many other countries around the world, as if made by a people who were simply motivated by aesthetics, thus creating stunning, yet equally baffling structures, which we have come to know as dolmens. However, although in some areas of Earth these can be attributed to past dwellings, many of them which survive were created with such small base stones or such large roof stones, that arguing that creating them for any other reason but their creation continues to be just as puzzling an explanation as the techniques that were once seemingly harnessed which enabled our purportedly Stone Age ancestors the ability to pick up ancient megaliths of such enormous scales. Le Champignon, or the mushroom located within the forest, is but one example of these mystifying, unarguably Neolithic formations, once created with a roof stone of many tons of weight. Yet any logical argument as to the past purpose of these stone structures remains just as elusive to explain as how these incredibly ancient people somehow once accomplished such feats. Who were the Neolithics? How can their ruins be located all over the world, yet not attributed to a group in communication with each other? We feel the evidence to support this postulation is all but overwhelming, yet continually denied as a possibility or even considerable as a reality by any field which is in defense of current rigidly defended fallacies, claiming that such groups were primitive and lacked the ability to cross continents. Yet the evidence in defense of this, found on almost every continent on Earth which we feel is obvious proof of a conspiracy. Regardless of this and the denial of them having links with other countries, we find the ruins which still survive within this ancient wood within Brittany as highly compelling.